Here we go. I'm gonna try this. I don't know how this is gonna work. I don't need because I'm looking at myself right here and I'm not looking at you. And I gotta look over here. Mm -hmm. I'll try and figure this out so I look normal. And everybody knows I grew up in New England. Probably can't even hear me when I'm doing that. I'll figure all this out. I have to figure out how I'm gonna do this whole stick thing because I can do this. And you can really see. But the problem with that is um, I need to be like a samurai sword that's like completely balanced perfectly. They sell turnip greens in the store. Apparently people eat them. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try this. It's the morning, a uh, little after six, and time to get up and feed the pigs. And then pick up poop. Oh, oh it is my piggles. Uh. Hi, piggles. Hi, piggles. Dumped your water again. Always dumping the water. All right, hold up. All right. Is there a way to do this somewhere where I can? Put it, I don't know how to do this, huh? You guys didn't really eat much of your turnips. You don't like turnip greens. Mm -hmm. Oh, pigs do not eat everything. These guys don't like, um, well, like the usual things that most pigs don't like, like uh, onions and citrus and stuff. Thought they would have liked turnip greens. I don't know. I have to figure out how to do everything one-handed. All right. Um, the baby bunny cage is empty because it was so hot I had to bring them inside. Ugh. I mean, it was so hot. It was so gross. They were like lifeless hanging there. They're just barely alive, so I had to bring them in. There's my nutty boy. Hi, Nutter. Hi, Nutter. <gasps> There's my baby. Hi, Nutty. Let's see. I need a better look at you. In there. Oh, look at you. Oh, you're so beautiful. What a big boy you are. You're such a big boy. I love you. Yes, I do. Hi, sweetheart. You have water? You still have food? I'm going to give you fresh water in just a minute, okay, Bubby? So I made this. This was, um, so... A very nice lady in town was uh, remodeling her whole house. And so she had all these metal screens and she sold them to, for a dollar. And a dollar was about just all I had. So I bought, um, I actually bought four of them. I bought two this big size and two that are a little bit smaller. And they're inside with fluff in the babies. And Hello, my quail. Three, you got four of you guys on the outside. So, ah, I got four of these guys sitting on the outside on the wrong side. They fly over the, over the little wall. <sighs> well, let's just double check on them. They usually don't need food and water in the first thing in the morning because I fill them up at night. And, all right, gotta come in. Oh, hey, hey. All right, all right, come in, come in, come in. Quite easy. There you go. Me too. There you go. Come in the wrong side. Do, do, do. Here we go. Up, up, up. No, no, no. I don't even know if I was filming that. There you go. All right. So this is my babies. <sighs> they are so cute. Yeah, see, they still have water. Um, they still have water. Oh, oh, yucky. Hold on. You guys get your water thing out. Go. Much better. I don't know. They have little boxes to sit in and hide in and stuff. And when I, I'm going to come and clean all this. Like, I take the pitchfork and I just kind of scoop all this stuff up and then put new straw down. 
so far so good. Uh, and flies aren't too bad today, so yay. Doot, doot, doot. Out of here, excuse me, babies. Excuse me. You know what time it is now, right? Malala, you know what time it is? Time to pick up poop. Yeah, you poopy dogs. Four dogs, lots of poop. Poop, 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 gotta pick up poop. That's my day. Every morning, gotta pick up poop. Midday, gotta pick up poop. Later on in the day, gotta pick up poop. Even later on, gotta pick up poop. Oh, <laughs> you can see how I am. Um, I'm not a professional when it comes to doing lawn. Look at how messy I did it, but oh my God, was it fun? Oh, it was fun. I tooled around there and go in circles and curves. <laughs> it was so fun. I need a ride mower. <laughs> that would be awesome. I need a mower. Never mind, ride mower, non ride mower. I need a mower. <laughs> All right, I have to figure out how I'm gonna do this whole stick thing because I can do this and you can really see. But the problem with that is um, it's so far away from me. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could get used to doing this and just figure out exactly where I need to hold my hand. Oh, even like this, hold my hand. All right, Malala, I gotta go take care of the bunnies. The bunnies, I gotta take care of Fluff. Yeah, I gotta go take care of Fluff. The babies. Said I was gonna pick up poop, but I'm not. I'm gonna pick up poop after I feed the babies. Because Mama needs her special stuff. Special stuff just meaning uh, calf manna and oats and uh, sunflower seeds. Black rose sunflower seeds. I lock them. Mm. I don't know. I hear all sorts of crazy things about people and their rabbits and some crazy people coming into their property and like breaking. Whoop, there goes my keys. Breaking into their property and like letting their rabbits free. It's like, oh, you just subjected them to an awful death if you let them free. You can't do that. Oh, it feels good in here. It feels good in here. It's not even cold, oh, hot. I made um. I made their. <laughs> that's Charlotte's old bed frame, so I um. It broke, so I used it. And then these are the smaller screens that I used. Oh, I don't have them on a good track. So what I do is I just pick them up and take them off. And lean them. Hello, Fluff. Hello, beautiful girl. She's got babies in there. She's got eight babies in there. Here's some more water for you, sweet girl. Yes, beautiful. <gasps> Look at you. Aren't you beautiful? These guys are like, wait, you usually feed us first. What are you doing? Feed us, feed us. These guys are eight weeks old today. So two more weeks. Two more weeks, huh, babies? Yes. Two more weeks. I give her. She's a good girl. I give her um, oats and black oil sunflower seeds and then calf manna. So there's 10 in this litter, and I, um, I had a couple of problems with the, one of the, um, one of the brokens, the ones that are white with the colors on them, the, the color pattern is called broken. Um, they, one of them has an ear that is flopped down, which looks like an injury that happened when they were all in the outside grow out cage. Um, and it's still floppy. I thought maybe it was heat, but I don't think it's heat. I think the cartilage is just kind of... So, uh, one broken ear. We had one that had a scratch in its eye. Um, and a broken one as well. And, oh, it got so gross. It was nasty. Every time I came out to it and opened it up, a big blob of pus would come out. It was... But, 
that healed up completely and when you look at her now I'll try and find her later and get a close-up of it you can see a scar right across the cornea of her eye just a, a line right in her eye so she definitely got scratched while she was in the nest box she um, you know there's ten of them so they were trying to climb all over each other and move around and of course they're peeing and pooping in there and even even a, a day goes by and there's pee and poop in there so I mean, you can be diligent about cleaning your nest box and you're still going to have problems. But, um, so then the last, or the other problem I have, one of these bunnies, a little gray one, little gray bunny in the back is missing a foot. Um, I came out one day, I, I think she was, I think she was like, uh, three weeks old. They were just out of the nest box and it was on its side and... It tipped over. It, no, it didn't tip over. It was on its side, but they were all jumping around, and that was all, Mama was jumping around too. And I think it got caught under the corner in here. And um, so when I got to it, it was already all hanging off, and it was just barely hanging on by just a tiny bit of, of fur and skin. Oh, hello, baby. So I took, um, I took my very sharp knife, and I cleaned it, and I cut the rest of it off and I cleaned it up good with some iodine and I wrapped it and then I I took the bunny inside with me and I I just held the bunny like all day she was like shoved in my shirt just sitting there all day just to oh I felt so bad the poor thing she wasn't grinding teeth she wasn't doing anything like that and now her leg is all healed over into a, a lump at the bottom and it's it looks it looks really good but so she made it. I mean, she's a meat mutt, so she'll be gone um, in a couple of weeks. And so I'm not, I wasn't too worried, and she wasn't in pain, and she's happy. So what I did is when I put all the big ones out, um, when I put them outside in the grow-out cage, I left her inside with Mom. And just so she wasn't messing around out there, it still wasn't... It was healed, but it wasn't as healed as I would have liked it. So... And she's doing fine now. So she hops around all over the place and takes care of herself and, and she's adorable. But these guys, oh, I love them so. Hey, Nut Nut. Oh. I just call Fluff Nut Nut. I'm so used to talking to Nutter. I'm outside talking to Nutter way more often than I'm inside talking to these bunnies. <laughs> Cause you guys are in the shed. Uh, I need her to be in the shed. She's safer from predators. It protects her babies. I mean, I didn't, don't need to. It's a preference. Um, the AC does not stay on all the time in here. It's only on in here for like a couple of hours, just when it gets so stifling that you can't even breathe. And you know what? They're my rabbits. I leave them in. I know everybody, people on the rabbit pages, oh man, some people are just so rude. They... All they do is like harp on people for doing things the way they're doing it. Even when people are doing things and it's working and it's successful and it's not hurting anything. <laughs> like they're always like, you shouldn't do that. And they're yelling at people. If you want heat tolerant breeds, you need to leave them outside. And they start yelling at everybody. I never put anything, I never bring my rabbits inside. I never give my rabbits ice. I never give my rabbits fans it's like well I don't know yeah I mean they say there's different types of rabbit people there's pet rabbit people and there's sustainable meat rabbit people like that understand that these rabbits are going to be food and so yeah they're gonna be food 10 weeks right in 10 weeks these guys are gonna be food and I don't want them to suffer in that short little period of time. And if it's 103 and they're outside and they're like lifeless laying in their cage, just barely breathing and like eyes rolled up in the back of their heads. Yeah, I brought them inside. I'm not awful. Like, <laughs> you know, I, I was spraying down the cages on the tops, keeping, the, keeping them cool and all that. And I, I tried, I put the water bottle out there with ice filled in it. Um, those poor things, it was terrible. So now it's probably not quite as 
heat, uh, heat advisory hot. But they've only got two weeks to go, so yeah, two weeks to go. Look at you, beautiful. Hi, hey, where you going? You can't get out of here. Oh, there's my lappy ear. There's my little one with the broken ear. Hi, hello, babies. Yeah, I love you guys. All right, this is awesome because it is so cool in here right now. It was so nice outside last night. All right, I made this selfie stick out of a piece of bamboo and I think it's a little too long because um, it goes way over here, which is fine, but it's like, Wah. it's heavy on my wrist. <laughs> I need like a counterweight. I need, I need like a samurai sword that's like completely balanced perfectly and use it as my selfie stick. Oh, we got some movement in here. Can I peek at your babies? Oh, I see some movement. Here you are. We got eight little squirmy babies in here. I think it's a good mix, too. I think it's a good mix of colors. Look at that beauty. Oh, so sweet. And lots of brokens, too. Yeah, look, oh, there's another broken. Look how pretty. All right, back you go. It's nice in here, huh? I'm not gonna cover you, cover you. Hi, hi, my buddy. There's my baby. Oh, you are the sweetest little thing. Yes, you are the sweetest. You are my buddy. Comes up to me all the time. Huh. When they have white feet and like white, I can kind of see, get in there. You can kind of see this one. Oh, this one right here has some white. Oh, that one has white on its head, just like this little black one and this little grayish, grayish brown one. Um, they're called booted. They have a little bit of white and then they have their uh, some on their head and their necks and then their feet. They're booted, and like these guys are more white than the booted, so they're called brokens. I'm not really sure on all of the specifics. I mean, I, I don't know what he's called. They're pretty. Pretty. They call them gold tip steels and selfs and all that, and I just, I haven't really figured it all out yet. Um, all I know is they're adorable. Look at how cute. Yes. All right, time to close you guys up. Sandy Brock, sheepishly me, and she's like my hero, my inspiration. She's not a homesteader, she's a sheep lady, and she's up in Canada, and, and I look forward to her videos, I look forward to her videos, I, and sometimes I'm so glad when she puts out like two or three, it's lambing season, and so like she posts a bunch of videos and lets us all see, and holy mackerel, she's delightful. And, you know, they say, when they say, find what you like, and if do put your own twist on it, right? So I'm trying to figure out what that twist is. Maybe my twist is just that I have a lot going on. I have quail and pigs and rabbits and dogs and mealworms and so I don't know um, I don't know what my what my niche is what my gimmick what my my catch <laughs> I don't know what it is 
maybe it's just me. I don't know. People are like, I like that lady. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, can you see? Look at those. That's all my buds like pump. All right. I cleaned out a lot of, so you can see where the lettuce is. Yeah. And the lettuce was overcrowded by a bunch of turnips. So I picked a bunch of turnip uh, yesterday. And I was looking at my tomatoes. Oh, my tomatoes have tomatoes on them. Finally. Finally, finally. Come over here. I don't know if we can see them. Oh, can you see that bunch? Oh, there's a bunch right there. So this was the old farrowing pen where, um, well, actually they didn't farrow there. They farrowed in the, in the cage when, when the cage was over here, but this is where they, they were. Her like little house was here. I had the whole enclosure right here that all covered them. And they were safe in there for the winter, but it was so gross. So once I finally moved him into the other thing over there. I dug it all up. I dug it all up and I moved the top layer off over there to try and extend this little section for a garden. And I put um, hydrated lime down. And and then I tossed a bunch of wheat seeds out. <laughs> Thinking, I'll grow wheat over here for them. But um, the birds ate most of them, which is fine. It was kind of funny. I think I can see, I can see grass. I can see, I don't see wheat. I see, um, I see sunflowers because this is, you know, they, from all their feed and seeds and stuff. I volunteer plants all over the place. All over the place. Oh, and I have, I'm going to try and put this down there so you can see it. That was silly and probably made you sick. Can you imagine, how many pumpkins am I gonna get? Oh. Pumpkins, pumpkins, pumpkins. I love mornings. Mornings are my favorite now. I don't think I used to like mornings. Or, I just wasn't ready for mornings maybe. But these guys get me up at like, um, sometimes quarter past five. Only when the sky is just barely beginning to like show a little bit of light. They let me sleep until six today. Six. Oh, you funny boy. I love you so much. Oh, you funny boy. <laughs> They're fixed. So I'm not sure about this format. Um, maybe it'll, uh, you know what, it'll probably be better when I figure out like different places to actually set the camera down when I'm actually doing things and then I can record myself doing them. Maybe that'll be interesting to you, I don't know. Oh, did you hear? That's the loveliest sound of the quail. That is the loveliest sound. I love it so much better than a rooster. I mean, a chicken rooster, because the boy quails are roosters too, but the boy quails sound delightful. Oh, isn't that great? Sound delightful, huh, Trevor? I, I love quail so much more than chickens. <laughs> I, kept, I kept one chicken. Um, I ended up giving my chickens to, to Ben and Shauna over at their farm. I love you. I love you so much. Um, I just didn't want to do chickens anymore. I just kept Latte. She's, she's my, my chicken. I love her. She lays my green eggs. And um, I mean, I've had her since day one, pretty much. I mean, she was my, not day one. So I was probably... I was probably two months in living here, so close enough, right? I had and lost so many chickens just from um, dogs. We had stray dogs. Ugh. Stray dogs coming in in the property and just picking off the chickens. Oh, so, so not nasty. I'd find feathers everywhere. So 
so then I decided, all right, I got to keep them enclosed because they were free ranging. And I'm like, I guess I can't free range them because they'll, they're dying terrible deaths by being chased and ripped apart. So that's not cool. That's, that's not what I want over here. This is, this is not my purpose. Um, my purpose is to raise them, uh, with love and care and good environment and safe and clean and healthy and all that good stuff and they can have one bad day and and it's not even a bad day for them you know because I always tried to do it as quick quick as possible that's the best last night um, after the Sun went down well mostly down I went in the garden and I pulled up a bunch of the turnips just because all the the like the leaves of the how do people sell turnip greens do they sell them before they grow a turnip <laughs> because once the turnip starts growing those leaves get nasty like they're all wilty and gross and i don't maybe it's the heat and maybe it's me because <laughs> like they sell turnip greens in the store Apparently people eat them. I don't know how. For some reason, I think they fry them up in a pan, but that just seems odd to me. I have no idea. But it's pretty crazy that I decided to do homesteading and um, trying to live sustainable when I'm not really sure how to grow things. I mean, I've had a garden before, okay? I've had goats before. I've had chickens before. And I've had rabbits before. Oh. But they were pets. Um, I never butchered a chicken. Not till I moved here. Never butchered, clearly I never butchered a pig until I got here and I never butchered a rabbit either. They were pets. But after the house burned down and my bunny was in there that I didn't, um, I didn't want to do bunnies again for a while. It was kind of sad, my bunny Finn. He was a lot like Nutter because he was a Flemish giant and uh, big and sweet. Finn was a sweetie. Well, I came back out later on and I'm coming to collect eggs. And they just kind of drop them wherever. Sometimes they lay them in a, in a nest, in a pile, but sometimes they just drop them. Sun's going down now, so it's on the other side of the yard, and it's awesome. Oh, you can really see my. Wow, oh, look at these pumpkins. Ugh, oh, it's gonna be a lot of pumpkins. I can't wait. Pop, pop, pop. I hear you. Oh, look how pretty those trees are behind me. They look nice. I love it here. I really do. Hi, Latte. Hi, Latte, pretty girl. There she is. Hi, Latte. Whoa. That's the um, Kelso's old pig pen over there. Um, he just keeps breaking out of it, so I finally put him in with Katie. That's what they both wanted, so <laughs> whatever. So we'll be ready to have more pigs again at the end of September. Um, and then in this garden here that I had, uh, Tilda, look at my sunflowers. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, some pumpkins here too, and um, some corn and beans, but they didn't, they didn't really come up. I don't know. Um, yes, hello, babies. Look at you all muddy. Good thing you're muddy. It's good that they're muddy, because when they're muddy, that means um, they're not gonna get sunburned. So I try and keep as much water and as much of a wallow in there for them as possible because then, I mean, the sun is brutal. Oh, so this is a quick, well, maybe not quick. I don't know, I guess we're over a half hour now, but um, if you made it this far, I thank you. I thank you so much. I am, uh, I'm blessed to be here. I am blessed, blessed beyond, beyond words to, uh, 
to be able to share my story with you and hopefully other people that are wanting to homestead maybe maybe you'll get a tip or something here I think I like this format I need to do better with the camera um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep keep doing it keep making videos and keep posting them and hopefully you'll find something interesting and something you can enjoy thank you I'm Stacy McDonald and this is the impromptu homestead.